Hello and welcome back to Harvest Block. Yes, this is episode three. And I don't have googly eyes anymore. Um, thank you very much, guys, in the comment section for all the tips and tricks. <laughs> First one I want to tell you about is if I go to mod options here, type in googly eyes. And if I go to config, it's the most tiniest text in the world. I don't know why. But yes, you can actually set which things have googly eyes on. So thank you very much. Whoever told me about that in the comment section, I've disabled it. As much as how funny it is, I know, but I can't stand having googly eyes. <laughs> so yeah, no more googly eyes. And the other thing, I want to thank you, the OD, and a couple of you other people out uh, on the comment section mentioned it. Look at my frame rate. <laughs> I don't... 800 odd what what the hell is going on yeah i didn't realize that was a vanilla thing you need to turn off vsync okay all right leave me alone i'm still learning java okay anyway i've been a little bit busy off camera wow actually i've been quite busy i should say um so i don't know if you remember last episode i got this tier two soiled now you can actually make tier two inferium seeds which is what i've done and now, when I break one of these, or harvest it, it gives me 8 Inferium now. So, I think my understanding is correct here. I guess Tier 3 will probably produce 12 Inferium Essences, right? I would say. But either way, I've done that, so I'm I'm looking quite rich now in <laughs> Inferium. So, yeah, I've been grinding away. I've made loads of Tier 1 soil just so I can make a load of this Tier 2 stuff. So also, I've been actually making my fire seeds level 10 as well. Um, I'm kind of waiting around here whilst I'm hitting record. I'm all the way down here. You probably know where I am, right? Also, I've added a bit of water. I'll explain why in a second. Um, but yes, I wanted to get these 10 then 10 because if I hit E here and go on my inventory, I've saved up sand recipe here and it requires dirt and fire. Now, I'm more than certain sand is probably a valuable thing because obviously you can turn it into glass and i'm more than certain hang on let me just double check this a lot of recipes probably use a glass so let's hit you here 64 i mean <laughs> there's quite a lot of things here but i did just spot that iron chest i didn't even realize these were in here oh my god dan we need to get some copper <laughs> right we got a bit of a mission today. We got to get some iron chests. But the other mission I wanted to do is actually look at my quests here. I've hardly done any quests on off camera, by the way. Um, let me just show you here on Bravo. I want to get some Never seeds today, and the main thing I want to get today is something called Solium. So I haven't actually saved this one up, but I need it uh, to actually make some Solium ingots. So it's not this one up here. It's actually this one here. And the reason I want this is so I can make this Solium Dagger, okay? Now, I need something here called Prosperity. Is that how you pronounce that? And to get that, I need to obviously just breed up or mutate, I should say, not breed. Um, it's not like they're not animals, they're crops, Dan. I need to uh, mutate these, basically. <laughs> and get this pros Prosperity Shard uh, seed. So I need Marble and I need Inferium Tier 1. But I don't know if I can use my Inferium Tier 2 because it is... Definitely just saying tier one here. But yes, I need tier two soil, obviously, to get that. So I did save these up here anyway. And to get marble, I need stone and ice. So I think what I'm going to do is probably wait till I get this one at 10, 10, 10. Oh, we've got one here, look. I've actually chucked this uh, seed analyzer down here as well. It kind of made a bit more sense. Rather than me kind of just doing these crops up the top, it doesn't really make sense. I might as well just do them down here. If this is where I'm going to mostly have all my crops anyway, so... And we got a 10, 7, 9. Cool. It's getting there, guys. It really is. <laughs> so I've just got myself the 10, 10, 10 fire seed. Woohoo! Task completed. Right, I've planted a stone seed look right here. And let's put that one in there. Hopefully that's a 10 by 10 by 10. We can chuck that one. And I need to actually get myself a piece of this now, I believe. And we should be able to create... Another one now. Ooh. Have I got any? Oh, I have. We don't want to do any boo-boos here. We don't want to lose this. There we go. Go. Do your thing, guys. Make myself a never seed. Come on. <laughs> We're going to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Would you look at that? He's got 
I never seed already. Ah. Never seeds. The quest has been done. Now, is my calculations correct? I think it is. This should be a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. It is. <laughs> awesome. I think I've got this. I, I understand how this mechanic works. I think I, I know what's going on now. I mean, it didn't take that long. I mean, it's from um, what you guys are telling me in the comment section as well. Uh, this is a severely old, 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 old mod. <laughs> so you're all probably laughing at me because you really know how this stuff works. But I mean, when you come across from a Minecraft Bedrock Edition and you play this version, you know, it's completely different. Anyway, I'm going to start spreading these fire seeds. Um, I think that's a 10. No, that's a 9. We don't want that one. You can go in the bin. But yeah, this is going to be fire. And let me just go up here and show you this. So if I come up here, I've actually made all of the iron ones 10 by 10 by 10 as well. And I've got a few iron ingots in here and some of these essence. So I've been looking around, seeing what we can craft and stuff, okay, to help me speed up this crop process. Obviously, later on down the line, we're going to go to Ender IO and get some sort of machines or harvesters or something. I guess it's kind of in the quest. But there's this thing, Harvest Goddess Band. Accelerates growth by nearby crops. Harvest nearby crops activates every 0.5 seconds. I definitely want that. But it requires quite some weird stuff I don't think I can get. I can make the iron band, obviously, by just doing this. Pretty straightforward, sorry. Um, but this is the problem, the dark matter. I don't think I can really do anything with that, unfortunately. But also, I stumbled across this. A gardening trowel uses to move plants from one crop to another. So I don't know. This is all the same mod, uh, AgriCraft. So I guess it's all to do with these different plants. And then there's a clipper. Right click on crops to obtain clippings. Clippings can be planted on other crops. Success of planting based on strength. I don't know. We're going to have to get that. And then this is a magnifying glass. But I need some glass panes for this. So I'm going to have to make some sand and give this a go. Um, used to inspect crops. I Again, I don't really know. We're going to just experiment. If they're all rubbish and useless, I'll just throw them off the edge. But hey ho. So yeah, we got our never seeds. Um, obviously, I don't have enough of this tier 2 soil to go and chuck it over somewhere. So I'm probably going to just put it here for now. Um, but I will eventually make this a tier 2 uh, never seed plot, I think. Because I don't know, soul sand and solium must be quite a valuable thing in this mod pack. Um, I think, personally. Um, yeah, we got some things to do. So I got some fire essence. I got... Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> I was just about to say I got some fire essence and iron ingots, but... Jesus, is that a deer? It is. Oh my god, he's got a little red nose. Look at this thing. And you still got googly eyes. You can die, you stupid thing. Okay, I don't know what this does, but I wanted to say I'm actually caught to beetles. I, I don't really know what they do. I've had a look on... Oops, I've had a look on here... Uh, there's, 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 there's nothing. If I could spell it, that was. There's nothing. It's just a spawn beetle. I mean, I, d I don't really know <laughs> what they do. So we're gonna just keep them. If you guys have got any names for them, let me know in the comment section. Uh, what the hell do I do with a deer? What, what do you do? Are you just a, uh, another, a thing? I'm sorry, reindeer. You got a red nose, so you must be called Rudolph. <laughs> oh my god, he drops meat. Raw pork chop. Venison. Ah, now we're talking. Hang on a minute. What does this like produce? Because obviously pork chops we knew from last episode that they were terrible. Just out of curiosity, is this better? Oh my god, it is. That's three and a half haunches. Okay, that's way better than calamari. Okay, noted. How do how do we breed venison though, or deer? Should I say? Hmm. Experimentation must be made. So I just made thirty two pieces of sand, and I'm just going to cook that in the furnace so we can get that into glass. Because obviously I need a piece of glass pane to make the magnifying glass. Um. Right, let's start crafting up some of these things, shall we? I think I might have some spare sticks, and I'll put some sticks on me. Okay. Uh, right, let's start with this. 
It's all for science, okay? So we've got some clippers. Let's get the gardening tool. And I need to get six pieces of glass. So we're not quite there yet. So let's have a little test here and see what these do. So this should use this to move plants from one crop to another. Oh my God. This is what I should have done. It's kind of pointless. You can just break it. Oh, but it plants it and it's actually the crop form like a seed again. Okay, I understand. What about this then? Oh, wow. Oh, dirt crop clipping. Okay. What do these do then? I don't really understand. Now, if I break that, hang on. If I put that there, I can just replant it again. I see. I see, I see. So it's just another way of kind of getting a bit more seeds out of it, I guess. Hmm. Kind of pointless in my eyes. I feel like the technique I'm kind of doing is okay as it is. Okay, let's just try this magnifying glass. I don't think this is going to be very beneficial then. Um, let's give it a go though. We don't know, do we? Um, use this to inspect crops. Okay, so as if you're hitting shift and it tells you <laughs> a lot of information at the bottom, look. Brightness, 12, 11, 11, 11, 10, 11. How can that be 11 if it's right next to a torch? How oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. What about this then? Wood seeds. <laughs> Again, another pointless item. But hey-ho, we wanted to just try them out and see what they actually did. They're not really going to benefit me a lot. So we can actually ditch these then. But hey-ho, I'm more interested in this Harvest Goddess band. I feel like that's going to be very, very helpful. So another reason I came up here was just to grab these ice seeds I've got. I've only got one lot of these. Um... Is there a tier one in here? Oh, that's a that's a 10, 10, 10. We'll leave that one in there. But I think these are tier ones, aren't they? Yeah. So we need a tier one, 10, 10, 10. These were all organized. What did I do? There we go. So I'm not too sure if I need... This is for the pros prosperity shard one. But also, I wanted to show you this. So there's a hole here now. I just literally fly down here. <laughs> oh, God. So that's how I get down here quickly. So even though that is a funny way of getting down, there is actually these elevator blocks as well. Uh, I've got a couple of enderpearls, but I don't have any wool. Now, I noticed you can actually make some from this industrial hemp fiber that you can grow from these hemp seeds, which I've actually got at the top. So I think I'm going to probably get on with doing that as well today so we can get some sort of elevation because this, this ladder situation absolutely sucks. It's, it's awful. Anyway, let's plant these, and again, we're going to have to uh, put this in here. Stone, ice, makes ice. No, 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 no. We want marble, please. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> it's like the game can hear me. Wow, look at this one. It looks quite similar to that. I like that. Okay. I don't really know how useful marble is, but I need it. That's the thing for my um, next crop which is going to be a prosperity one. So I got a tier one, which I took from the top. So, oops, you can go here like so. And I guess I need another one of these, actually. Oh, inventory's getting a bit full. Got all these weird seeds and stuff on me. Right, you go there. Doink. This new marble seed. And you. Apparently, this should give me prosperity. Now, I don't know if this one's worth making a 10 by 10 by 10. I think it might be. I'm not 100% sure, though. We've got a lot to do off camera for next episode. <laughs> I think soon I'm probably going to be streaming this as well on Twitch for a laugh. Because I feel like maybe some of you guys would like to see what I do off camera, if that makes sense. So if you haven't already, go and follow me on Twitch. There is a link for it in the description of this video. And we got tier two Inferium Seeds. No, no, no. We don't want that. Finally, we got them. Wow. Look how many marble seeds I've got. <laughs> that took a long time, that one. But there we go. We've got the Prosperity Seeds. Uh, we got an issue of inventory here. So let's uh, sort this out. And hopefully... Oops, I shouldn't have done that. 
not fall down this hole. I am just going to bin all these seeds because I don't really need them. So in this chest here, I got a load of Terra Moss. Now, this stuff is such a pain to get. There has to be another way to get this faster, which I think there might be. Uh, whilst looking in here, this groove stone. I feel like this thing actually does something. I'm not 100% sure yet, though. But I feel like this, this mod pack must do something with Terra Moss because it's all connected to it. So I'm reckoning it's this groove stone or maybe this pry thing or maybe this fey craft. <laughs> I don't know. So I got 51 of this tier 2 soil. But what I'm going to do is actually place these like this look and show you some magic here with this thing. The build wand. Now if I hit M, you can actually change the actual um, properties of this so it can go vertical or horizontal look. And that's kind of how this works. Now, somebody did actually mention this in the comment section. But this is only possible with iron or higher, I believe, after looking into it. But yes, I can just do this a lot more safely. Look. Ah, beautiful. So I don't know what to do here. I'm thinking about maybe just doing half-half. I don't feel like I need tons of prosperity. I don't feel like I need tons of never stuff. Um, if you know what I mean. So I feel like this is probably going to be more than enough for me. Plus, not only that, that is only tier 1. Whereas my never one, which I think I put it in here, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, is actually tier 5. Well, 555. Five, five. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is kind of grind out a few of this for now. So we've got enough to make some soul sand. Look at this thing spread those nuts in it. They spread so quick. So I've made a couple of these mystical sticks and that is obviously for the Solium Dagger. That is just four of these like so and literally a stick like this. And also whilst looking around, I don't know if this one's maybe a bit too expensive for me to create now, but I'm pretty sure I could do it, is make a Paxel. Now this is actually an axe, a pickaxe and a shovel all in one. That will save me three spaces in my hotbar. But I need quite a lot of these mystical sticks. So it's two, four, six, eight. And then I need this thing, which costs some more. <laughs> it might be a bit too pricey. I might have to do a bit of grinding off camera to potentially get that. So I'm probably going to hold off for that. But I'm going to keep it up there anyway, just so it you know, it reminds me I need to kind of craft it. Just come back up the top here to get my stone. Look at this. We got owls. Hello. <laughs> do they move their heads around like 360? I don't think they do. <laughs> what the hell are these things? Do you drop feathers? They do. Interesting. I'll just leave them there. You guys stay there. It's fine. Anyway, let's get up this stone. Uh, it's not this chest. It's this chest, Dan. Here we go. And let's make some of this soul stone, shall we? Let's just make all of it. 32. Okay. Nice. And we got all this glass look, which I can put away. And we got some glowing that I can put away as well. Right. I want to go over here and just activate this back on again. Because I know that wasn't causing the lag. So let's kind of get these torches removed. Which might be a bit of a mission. Cool. So we're getting ready. We're getting prepped up to get these mob chunks. Okay, so it's that and that. And then I need to take these and burn them again. So I'm wondering if it's worth me just making another cobblestone furnace. Or let's actually do one of these quests, actually. I've just remembered. I can make myself an iron furnace, right? So it's just iron wrapped around a furnace. And that will actually hopefully increase my speed there. Uh, right, let's go down here then and grab some of this Inferium stuff. This next tier up. Let's grab a, two stacks of that maybe. And let's grab some iron then. I need eight pieces in total, which I can definitely afford. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Just double check in. And I will grab any of this stuff I can when I'm here. Nice. And we can just do this. I'm going to grab this furnace a minute and let's just actually wrap this up in iron then. And it should actually increase its speed. Here we go. Quest completed. 
I mean, in all honesty, I could create more furnaces. Oh, wow, this has got more slots. Nice. Is that quicker? I don't know. I think you could probably, yeah, you can hook this up with power as well, which is pretty cool. I'm guessing you can put loads of things in there then, can you? That can be cooked, at least. Nice. Right, while that's doing that, I think what I'm going to do is sort out and hopefully get one of these elevators going. Um, I think I need two in total, which I got two. Are you not eating my crops, are you, mister? <laughs> um, I think what I'll probably do then is just lift up these, because it's probably a bit easier for me. So I don't really have a hoe on me. Oh, okay. These do grow like that, don't they? I think they do, yeah. And I'm guessing if it's fully grown, it will spread across. If that wasn't there. Hang on. We've got to do a bit of cleaning here. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So I've just realized it takes three of these hemp fibers to create one piece of string. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to rip up quite a bit of this dirt, I think. I've got my hoe in my hand. And while I'm waiting around, I'm just going to... Let's just start getting this a bit more faster. Oh, God, those things just scared me. <laughs> Silly owls. Right. So I just grabbed the uh, soul dust out of the furnace. And what we're going to do is make some of this solium. Now, this is actually going to be six ingots. I only needed two, but I got some backups just in case. Uh, I think I'm going to put the rest of this in here. And hopefully that should make an ingot. Yeah, nice. And then we can go chop all their heads off over there. Right, I'm kind of... These are kind of spreading. I've got a bit en enough here to make a bit of string. Uh, that's two blocks. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'm going to just rip up all of this dirt for now. Maybe we can put some of this in here. We do have a lot of seeds. So it's fine though. Um, I'm pretty sure there will be a 10, 10, 10 in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. What I'm going to do is just rip up all these. And we'll plant them back in a minute once I've got enough string to get this elevator. And I may as well finally make myself a bed, right? <laughs> as I've got the string, I may as well do it. Six solium ingots. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Now we're going to make this sword. So the recipe, I believe, has to be like this, unfortunately. It's a bit weird. Has to be like that. <laughs> okay. But anyway, we got a solium dagger. Used to obtain mob chunks, a durability of 407 attack damage. It's actually got more attack damage. So personally, I'm just going to chuck that goodbye stone sword away. And that is that quest done. Nice. So next, I need to get four zombie chunks. It says here, now you have the solium dagger. Kill zombies until you get four zombie chunks. Note, it is not 100% drop rate. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, right, let's go and investigate this then. Does this work for all mobs? I imagine it does. Uh, you got boots on. Zombie. Okay, we didn't get anything from that dude. Oh, we got a zombie chunk already. Easy. <laughs> there be gone the days of the night. We can actually go to sleep. Yes, our friends. You're my little friends with the beetles. We're going to go sleep. Finally. <laughs> I've taken a screenshot as well of the owl to use for the thumbnail. I think this little guy is hilarious. Yes, we got a bed. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, finally. Crops, man. We get in there, guys. We are getting there. Right, is there any more zombies in here? It seems to be just creepers, look. There's one zombie. We only need one more zombie chunk, apparently. And I got this thing, an XP chunk. Uh, let's have a look at the uses for that. Oh, we can actually make bottle enchanting. <laughs> no way. That's an experience seed. <laughs> oh, we got to get that. Get some crazy OP experience. Right, I still need to kind of uh, fart uh, or whatever you want to call it. Bone meal this or fart it out. I, I don't really know what you would call it. Just to get a load of string, basically. We're getting that, though. It's, it just takes a long time to grow this stuff. I think this is a better technique. Just crouch and run around and punch so you get enough of this stuff. Oh, we got tons of it now. We are absolutely laughing. I suppose I could just do that, right? Boom. Perfect. I think that's enough. Oh, we got more. We got more here. 
I'm probably going to leave these here for now. I'm not so desperately needing dirt currently. I've got a, I've got a few dirt blocks here anyway and all this kind of essence if I really need to uh, use it at some point. I shall put that away. I shall put that away. But let's create a couple of these elevators, shall we? Whew. Bear with me, guys. I don't really know how these 100% work. I, I seem to remember I've, I've used them before in a pack. You put one down and they have to be in the same like alignment is that correct and what i can do is do a little test here so let's just go up here and put this here like this pretty sure if you crouch and jump is it jump oh no you just literally crouch or jump wow this is so handy now i don't know how far these work unfortunately so we're gonna have to just experiment and try this this is uh, a lot better than a stupid ladder uh it says it's no tool. Okay, so we can just use a pickaxe if we really want to. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that just in case any yucky creepers spawn. But my god, that's going to make my life a lot easier. Obviously, at the time, we didn't have this lovely technology. <laughs> right, let's chuck one of these here then. I suppose I should have put one at the top straight away. Uh, if my trap doors are right here, I feel like I should put it here, right? Doink. Well, maybe under. Yeah, that's a good idea. If we put it right here, then. Doink. Like so. And we're going to go all the way up there. And see if it works. I'm pretty sure it will. The moment of truth, guys. Let's just try this before I remove the trapdoor. Oh, my God. It works. <laughs> that. Oh, my God. That's some weirdness going on there. That is super, super cool. Oh my god, that is so much faster. Look at that! No more climbing the stupid ladder! Okay, I can't stop pressing it. It's so fun. Oh wow, that is so much better. Yes, Dan. Well done for finding that. Okay, I think what I'm going to do then is remove that trapdoor. And we're going to just put this here. Oh, I need to smash all these ladders. Poor ladders. Nice! Oh, I'm really scared, though. If that doesn't work and I glitch through that block, it's completely GG, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to leave my water here, though, just in case I need it. I don't know why, but hey-ho, we might need it at some point. Okay, I need to get a couple more enderpearls then, and I can do the same sort of thing the other side, unless I just keep it as one and just kind of... I don't know what to do. I would like to make loads of these, really, and have them for each level. So I just had a quick look a minute. I'm thinking about maybe making a couple more of these at some point, but color coding them maybe. So for example, if I went to the red one, it would be redstone crops only. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea in the comment section? Maybe I think it's a cool idea. Oh my God, that's so weird. Oh, I can't stop pressing it guys. I think that's the last zombie chunk I needed. It is. Oh, we've done so much today. It's been really good fun. <laughs> I absolutely love this mod pack. I think it's really, really cool. But yes, uh, I think I'm kind of running out of time, guys, unfortunately. Um, we have done a lot of pro progression here to make my lives a bit easier. At least what I can do off camera, I think, is probably smash all these ladders, get rid of all that, and get rid of all this. And I feel like next episode, we are actually going to go on B Britannia, I think. And start getting some of these crazy little flowers that produce mana. And then we can make all of these mana pearls and mana diamonds. I have played around with this before, so I kind of understand it a little bit. But yes, me and the owls are going to head out now. And obviously the beetles, don't forget about them. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Darius Probs. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for all the support on this little series. Absolutely brilliant little mod pack. You should definitely go and check it out. Obviously, I downloaded it from the Twitch launcher. But yes, I feel like I'll probably stream this maybe on Friday for a laugh if you're around. Don't know when. If you follow me, it should notify you, right? Anyway, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye!